You are, it seems, a man of many skills. A rare combination. Approximately, how much do you make a week? <laughs> Let's get this week's ticker breakdown started. So we got here right off the hop, a nice looking one. And thank you to everyone who made suggestions. We even got people on the YouTube comments, yo. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. You got me fired up. Okay. Well, this one's looking nice right off the hop. We have CBDT Empower Clinics. It's a Canadian penny stock here. That's currently at around 36 cents. I like the looks of it because we have a solid triangle hanging out here above with this being the supply. Oopsies. We have this being the supply zone up here. Now, this is a supply zone because each and every time price has gotten up to this level, there's been a rejection. But what I like is that there's higher lows being made up into this rejection. This is honestly... This is a nice setup. I really like this setup a lot. Um, where this could potentially go is I'm thinking if we use the fibs here and check this out to the lowest point, we could get up to around 50 cents, somewhere around there. So it's currently at 36, 50 cents would be a nice 35% trade. But to be honest, another way to um, where this could potentially go is you mark the triangle. So we're going to take this off here. I'm going to take this off and we're going to actually draw the triangle out. So that's what the triangle looks like. So what you could do is you could measure from this point up to the top. It's around 65 up, which is <laughs> insane. So if we copy that, let's clone it and put it to this point. That's another point it could potentially get up to. So that's another way to look at this triangle, right? You could you could look at it from that perspective. Or if you wanted to change it up a little bit, maybe not from that exact point, you can make the triangle maybe look something like this. This might be a little bit more accurate. Yeah, you know what? I'd go with that and use that instead where you use this length of the triangle and then it could go up that much. So it could make upwards of a 50% move. I really like this stock actually, not going to lie. So here's another one, Trip, Red Light Holland. So looks like we're forming some sort of a cup and handle here. If we look at the two hour time frame, right? We got, uh, we got from our highs to our other high up here. We're gonna drag it down. But essentially the cup and hand, that's the handle part of the cup. Uh, it's looking good. I'm thinking this one could potentially it's a shroom stock. I believe so this could um, It could end up Following the same characteristics as some of the big dogs in the in the psychedelic sector. So check out MMED um, That's another big one in the shroom sector. So this one's looking good We're expecting this one. Hopefully if it continues to break out with the other shroom stocks, it'll go upward towards that level so It's looking good here on trip now we have THRM. Um, I'm not really 100% sure what this company is, but um, it's looking, I don't really like the looks of this one too much. I wouldn't put my money in it right now. I don't, I don't see anything that's telling me, hey, this is a good sign to get in. So in all honesty, if this, can, if this level right here can be support, that would be great. Just because it's made a high here before if we zoom in, right? We'll go to the daily time frame. See how it kind of paused here. Well, you'll see it better on the two hour to be honest, but it kind of paused in this area. If this area could be support, then if it could make some bullish patterns over here, I'd look maybe towards getting in. Um, some penny stocks, I I really don't like. I, I only like penny stocks if there's strong patterns and volume on a consistent basis, basis and it's showing you like bullish patterns like instead of something kind of like this right this is kind of like a nice impulsive move to the upside but it gave almost all of it back yeah over 50 percent um drawback and we haven't really seen like a floor yet so excuse me thrm uh i'm gonna have to say pass on this one for now 
Uh, G D N P. What's this? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it looks like I was on this one already before. I kind of like the looks of this. Although it's sort of in a downtrend since December, we have this high made a lower high and then another lower high after that. Um, it's starting to look like it's forming a, some sort of triangle, right? If you look like from this perspective. Oh, geez, the trading view. Uh, it's first thing in the morning. Give me a break. So it's starting to make some sort of triangle. I'd be looking at it from that perspective. It, if it holds this triangle, then it's clear that the triangle is in play. Like if it holds the bottom trend line of this, it's clear that the triangle is in play. If not, I'd be looking towards here because it looks like there's some floor here. If it breaks below this level, I'm out. And right now, it's not really telling me, hey, get in. There's nothing serious about this telling me to get in right now. But um, it is in a nice uptrend since October 2020. So, hey, it's not too bad. It's looking decent here. It's made highs of $1.38. So if it ends up breaking out of this triangle, expect it to try and come back to reach those levels up there. So we got DM, Data Matrix AI. So this is an AI company, and this is another penny stock. Y'all love the penny stocks, man. <laughs> you love the penny stocks. Hey, I love to see it. So this one, it looks like we have another uptrend. I'm going to go to the daily time frame. It's in a, it's in a sideways trading range for now. I would mark this up here. This is what I would do with this puppy. It looks like it's starting to reject this range a little bit. And every time it tries to push up, it gets shot down. If it starts to make higher lows into this range, I'd like that. Like it looks like it's starting right, right there. And then if it continues to hang around this level, making like a higher low than this one, then that's pretty bullish. It looks like it's making some sort of uh, diamond pennant here. Um, I wouldn't re re really uh, jump into this one right away. I'd be a little bit more patient to see, hey, what's going to happen here and, and find a signal and let it let the signal come to you right like if you really like this stock then keep watching it but in my opinion um i don't really see anything crazy in here that's telling me hey get in right now especially because it's a penny stock and i really don't know too too much about the fundamentals i like how it's an ai company we've got laser uh this is a, a noise looking stock here clear clear pennant clear triangle you gotta love the triangles i'm telling you the triangles are just awesome you love to see that right so and it looks like it's starting to peak out up there it, you want to see and it looks like it's gapping up this morning we want to see it continue to run nice looking stock here on laser if you want to get in it's a nice opportunity it looks like it could go up towards 47 highs here which is nice these are some two stocks that i added in this week i'm going to make it quick so here we have a supply zone since june 2020 and it looks like we have a bull flag into the supply zone, right? This supply zone, it hung around here and it stayed in this range and it doesn't want to leave now. And then we have a nice breakout. I got in right on the breakout and my plan is to hold this for the rest of 2021. We got a nice gap up this morning, $11. And that was my original target out of the supply zone. So because it broke out of the supply zone, we're currently running out of sellers an influx of buyers is now coming in and we're ready to run who knows all game a lot of gaming stocks are looking hot so um this sector is popping T keep an eye on the gaming sectors and gaming etfs check out hero etf that's one you might uh, want to take a look at atvi another uh gaming stock activision we have another bull flag out of a massive cup and handle right if we look on the daily time frame massive cup and handle and then to continue out, we have a bull flag pattern. I'm, I'm bullish on this. I think this is going to hit 100 plus in, um, in 2021. So cheers, guys. Hope you enjoyed the, this week's breakdown. Uh, comment down below if you have any stocks you want me to cover for next week or anything like that. Cheers.